Hello everybody, so welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture I will show you exactly uh, how PVS works and, and in which situation I have used it uh, before. So uh, this will be a very nice uh, drawing. I don't know if it will be nice but uh, I will try to make it nice. <laughs> so, so first of all when you install PVS, PVS you must install new server, okay? So, so first of all we have here the, the server. So wh what you are doing when you install PVS is that you must build two VM. Why I say two VM? Because of course when you have PVS you you want you you want to have two PVS. If there is one was not working, you want another one. But of course you can have one PVS. It's like you want, of course. So uh, on this two VM, I will install two um, 2016. Okay, this is my OS. And uh, and after um, I will I will install PVS here uh, on this server. So I go and uh, and, and retrieve the ISO of PVS. Uh, and after I will start to install PVS here. Okay. So I install PVS here, and after I can install PVS here. But I first I must I must you know just finish the first installation to add this one to the to the cluster so it's like it's like a cluster it's not a cluster really huh? but uh, so here after the pvs something's important is that you must have a, a storage why because you will have to to say to save the the v disk we will see exactly what is a v disk after and first just the prerequisite okay so uh, after what you need is two solution okay you can use the uh, the hard disk on this two on, on this two VM. Okay, it must be very fast hard disk, and uh, you have a way after to do replication manually here, uh, and um, uh, between the two of them, uh, or you can use, uh, for example, a, a, a CIFS, for example, on a NAS with high ability, or you can use uh, these two uh, hard disk and make a copy. Of the V disk between the two uh, R disk uh, with a software like Robocopy. Okay, but this is we'll see all that. Huh? Robocopy. Okay, so now uh, what is the magic of the product? Is that uh, we're going to imagine two two uh, two solution that I that I that I really created. So I have a really written uh, written of experience about these two solutions. So uh, we must think about the first solution. Is that you have in your company. Uh, Xen app and Xen desktop, and Xen desktop, and of course, uh, when you are talking about more Xen desktop, because normally uh, you don't have free files on Xen app, you can have free files on Xen desktop, okay, like VDI. So let's say that you have maybe 300 user in your company, and this 300 user need uh, a Windows 10 VM, okay, so they need it. Uh, okay, just to 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 be able to uh, you know run a Windows 10 uh, and 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 of course uh, you, you you say that b why because because you know maybe this user this friend user has a power application so you, you don't want to install it on on Xenap you want to install it on the 300 user for Windows 10 VM okay for example so normally when you are when when you will create this this 300 uh, VM. So if you have to create different VM, you have a you have several approach. Okay, so the first one is to use MCS. MCS is a Xenap uh, and Xen Xen Desktop solution, who is gonna uh, use a uh, linked mode. Uh, I I encourage you to see my lecture on MCS uh, deep dive deep dive. The second solution is of course to to create them manually. Manually. So, for example, you can have solution like SCCM or MDT or the two together, of course. Or if you don't have a lot of money, you can use WDS from Windows 2016 on the box. And, and you can, you know, manually uh, create all this VM. The problem is that if you do it manually, you have really an issue about the storage. Because uh, if you have 300 VM, just imagine the size of the storage, okay? The other solution, of course, is... is is to use PVS. Okay, so let's say that I need 300 VM. Okay, so what I will do is 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 the following: is that I will create a master. Okay, so let me show you how magic is it. So I will I will create a master. 
Okay, so a master, what is a master? A master is just a Windows 10 VM or Windows 7, we'll see uh, all the operating system that are uh, working with uh, PVS. Okay, you have Windows 7, Windows 8, blah, blah. And I installed Windows 10 here. And like I need uh, a 300 VM for Xen desktop here, after that, I will install the VDA. Okay, the VDA. Uh, and in the choice, you know, you remember that when you install the VDA, you have a choice create a master. So I do create a master create a master and uh, and um, and of course when I when I when I will create a master uh, I install the VDA so here on this uh, VM I will have here the VDA uh, ready uh, and when I install the VDA what is happening is that uh, he will talk with the delivery controller remember the, the broker okay so but all this you know it now so now the magic is that when your uh, VM is, is, is ready, is working, you will uh, map the ISO of PVS and, and you have a choice with uh, target preparation. So you have a, a, a choice uh, uh, to install uh, um, an imaging wizard. Imaging wizard. So what is this imaging wizard? Is that the process of imaging wizard is going to take the hard disk of this master, and 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 when you do that, he will, of course, uh, save the hard disk, and he will save it uh, through the network, and you will save it on this hard drive. Okay, remember the Robocopy CFS, blah blah. blah. We'll see all that. So he will save it here. On one of the hard drive here, okay, uh, and and when you will save it here on the PVS, well, let's say that here in your PVS, uh, uh, let's say on the E drive, for example, you will have your your V disk. So, for example, let's say uh, uh, Windows 10 V D A uh, V disk, and the the extension is V H D or V H D X. So we use VHDX, okay? So now that that my my master was here, that I I, I did a, a convert because it's like a, a conversion, huh? convert. It's like if, for example, when you know you know you do P2V. You remember when you do P2V in v VMware, Hyper-V, Xen, you take a physical server and you you create just a disk, you know, just a file. So when you have this master, you you copy it here, and and what is happening now, I'm going to go all down here, I'm all down here. And what's happening now is that when you have your, your v, v disk here, of course, uh, you, you, you want it. So because the, remember that our goal is, is to create 300 VM, okay, for Xen desktop. So what you do after is that uh, in your hypervisor, Uh, what happens is that you will you will create a template, okay? So uh, you, you create a template. So you you, you can take this uh, this master here. You can take this master, okay? So you, you can take the master and do a copy, a clone, okay? A clone. So let's say it's a master a clone. Okay, and and after with this master clone, what you will do is that you create a template. So, and after that, you create a template. Okay, so this will be a template, but really a template, huh? not a copy, a template. And when you uh, create the template, what you will do is that. Uh, the hard disk, because of course there's the hard disk here, hard disk here, you will delete the hard disk. Wow, this is really something fantastic. You will delete the the uh, virtual hard disk. So that's mean that this template will, will be diskless. And so this template has no disk. So you will say, but 
so it will not boot of course yes it will because what I will do is that I will uh, go after on my PVS uh, console so I will go here on my on my PVS console so I will go after on my PVS console and I have a wizard uh, to create a Xen desktop catalog okay so Xen desktop catalog wow fantastic so what is a Xen desktop catalog is that when you run when you run this he will ask you uh, of course uh, first he will ask you the the IP or the FQDN of your broker so the delivery controller and after that he will ask you uh, the the IP or the FQDN of your hypervisor and after that <laughs> uh, let's go to more down he will ask you to select the template so this one so you will select the template and of course the template plus and this is where magic is coming plus the vdisk and the vdisk of course will be in standard mode when we say in standard mode we say that it will allow multiple target so multiple target and will be on read only okay of course we need a cache we'll see that after okay so you choose all this and 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 he will ask you to create a collection a collection here on PVS it's just uh, all all the MAC address of all these 300 VMs so you create a collection let's say uh, it's for uh, let's say it's for I don't know uh, admin guys they need their uh, Windows 10 workstation uh, VM and with this this UK collection admin and after you uh, you you will tell him where in Active Directory he must create the account okay for the VVI and and that's all what is happening after is that he will and this is amazing uh, let's take the blue one the, the, what is the result of all that the result is that he will create uh, 300 VM with no disk and what is happening is that in the in the in the PVS server store in the database he will create a collection admin and he will create the name of all your 300 VM okay so you will have the the name of your 300 VM and the MAC address of the 300 VM so you will have a list of 300 VM okay with 300 max and of course automatically uh, they will have the vdisk the, the windows 10 vdisk of course mapped to this one and what is happening after is that and this is the final result is that after of course you will create a delivery group in the studio so what is happening after is that uh, if you have, for example, 150 users who are coming, work, working in the morning, so you can, of course, uh, use the power management to power on this VM. And when this VM will, will, will do a power on, or let's say we're going we're gonna to take the example of, I know, 5 VM, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This free VM, when you will do a power on, they will be on a network boot and they will find in the DHCP two options, 66 and 67. This is the IP of the PVS and this is the bootstrap. Bootstrap. So what is a bootstrap? It's just a small file will be copied here to the to the uh, to the uh, VM via the TFTP. TFTP. Okay. And what's happening is that when uh, they will boot with the bootstrap, the bootstrap uh, will will ask to the PVS, does this MAC address is in the database yes and what is the vdisk and so what is happening now is that through the the pvs the pvs is going is going to start to stream the vdisk wow it's like a, a, a video in youtube <laughs> so he will stream here on all this this vdisk and he will just send 
the exactly IO and the block of the free disk that this machine needs okay so and this is really incredible and and of course your network must be uh, accurate it must have minimum one gig you can do a lot of uh, optimization but it's working like a charm it's really fantastic so this is just a small you know introduction because I, w I wanted to, to really uh, make a small drawing before going in details about installing all the solution um, so let's do a stop recording here and uh, and uh, and we'll see us in the next lecture okay bye bye